Now, how do these two know each other? How does, what's his name, McCree and Ash know each other? What's their history here? I like how you can tell there's a rich story here behind it. Great, great stuff going on here. Amazing kinetic energy with the camera. I recognize her. Who's that character? What happened? I love the combination of like cyborgs and stuff with like Wild West with American Diner and stuff. You get some really cool aesthetics. Uh, in filmmaking, we call it a cowboy shot when you actually cut the frame off at the hip as if where like their gun would be in their holster. There's another one there, cowboy shot. I love how it takes its time too. One of the things I said in Overwatch's favor is these cinematics take their time. Real, real nice pace. They're not trying to rush and just overload you with information. Super cool. So they're very good at kind of visual storytelling, letting you fill in the blanks here. Hinting at maybe some backstory. Now, it seems there's a third player here. Conspiracy, who's the third player? Does their backstory tie into Ash? And is there like some sort of falling out between them? Is Bob in the game? Is Bob playable in the game? I need to know. Hello, my name is Philip. I'm a filmmaker. And today we're going to be reacting to Overwatch animated short, Reunion, and analyzing the cinematic language. Uh, I've done a couple of Overwatch videos as recommended by you guys in the chat. Please continue to recommend me what to watch. Uh, it's been so much fun between League of Legends, Final Fantasy, the list goes on. Um, let me know which other Overwatch ones I should check out to continue on this journey. It's been super fun. And uh, please, guys, if you've been enjoying my reactions to Overwatch Final Fantasy, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 10K subscribers here on my second channel, which has been so much fun. Also, make sure to come over to Twitch. Everybody say hi to YouTube in the chat if you want to chat live. And of course, check out my main channel on YouTube. We're almost at 190 subscribers. Very exciting. 190,000, I should say. Um, not that there's anything wrong with 190. Now, let us... Uh, commence operations. Let me know who your favorite character is in Overwatch. And like I said, which video should I check out next? You guys have been incredibly helpful in the chat, uh, in the comments on YouTube, telling me about the lore of Overwatch because I'm very much in the dark about the lore in Overwatch. I'm fairly new to it. Uh, I know a couple of the characters just by sight because they're so iconic. You see like fan arts of them and stuff. But besides that, don't really know too much. So thank you so much for all of the lore that you guys have been sharing with me. With that, let's get into this video. Very cool. I like what we got here. Kind of this jukebox uh, type thing. I'm a, I'm wondering if it's going to be like a Wild Wild West type thing. Reunion, of course, my Final Fantasy fellow FF fans. Respect that. Very cool. Interesting. Okay, so it's kind of an abandoned diner type thing. I like that. Yep, looks like nobody's been here for a bit. The food's not rotted, though. Okay, I like what I see. Very nice mood here. It's kind of got that like morning light type look to it. And we seem to have a lone apple pie eater. Very nice composition on these shots. I like what I see. Okay, it is in the United States. So that's cool. Oh, very cool shot. Get that train going by. Perhaps he was uh, interrupted. Oh no. Oh God. See what happens here. The train derailed right outside the diner. That's funny. I, it, you know, he just keeps eating his apple pie. He's like, yeah, that was annoying. Okay, leaves a tip. Respect that. <laughs> I like how it has a Wild West feel combined with like a United States diner. That's a really cool combination. Now this is a disaster. Very nice color here though. I love that kind of uh, red red tone. You get that hot desert feel. Real dusty too, dry feel. It's 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 good at establishing the atmosphere. <clears throat> so far. Ash! Ash! Oh! Ash. We got trouble. Okay. Ooh, so she might be like the leader of their uh, outlaw gang, it looks like. We got that classic Wild West, you know, there's a new, there's a new guy in town. Oh yeah, classic cowboy shot, love that. Oh, that's so cool, he's got the cigar, yeah. Really good character intro here for both of them. Jesse McCree, been a while, you promised you'd write. Will Ash. <laughs> I love this, I love this mood. Lights the cigar. 
Very, uh... I've been kind of busy. We're pretty busy ourselves. Clint Eastwood. It's awful convenient you showing up today. Yeah. you never been one to shy away from a good tip. Hey. Sounds like Matt Mercer, is it? worked hard for this score. You best move on now. <laughs> All I want is that crate. This is great. Everything else is yours. This crate. Huh. I gotta say, I, I'll just pause so I don't speak over them. I'll just pause for a millisecond so I don't speak over them talking. I love the combination of like cyborgs and stuff with like Wild West with American Diner and stuff. You got some really cool aesthetics well, well. being combined here. Now you got my attention. Well, well, I love is it. it. Such a cool thing. That's none of your business. Matt Mercer, yeah. Awesome. Good to hear, guys. Good to hear. Yeah, that's just a beautiful image. You got the Route 66 with the broken train. No, it's and stuff. very much our business. Our business. <sighs> Doesn't always have to be this way. I love how he looks like Matt Mercer, too. Oh, great shot. Great Apparently, shot. So this is particularly does. cool because in, uh, in filmmaking, we call it a cowboy shot when you actually cut the frame off at the hip as if where like their gun would be in their holster. So it's pretty cool that we have a sort of cowboy, wild, wild west type thing going on here using a cowboy shot. That was a cool factoid for you guys. There's another one there, cowboy shot. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> He's got the sign. This is great. Yeah, really, really fun so far. I love this. I love how it takes its time, too. One of the things I said in Overwatch's favor is these cinematics take their time. Real, real nice pace. They're not trying to rush and just overload you with information. Um, not that there's anything wrong with those faster paced ones like League of Legends, but there's a nice, slow uh, feel to these. Not rushed at all. It's very confident. I like what I see. A lot of nice shot selections here, too. Very establishing uh, of the area. Some nice building tension here. <laughs> I love that. Who's going to shoot? Who's gonna do it? Oh, we got a sniper. Coward. Oh, that's funny. He's sweating oil. That's a great touch. Yeah, just really, really fun atmosphere here so far in general. Love what I see. There it is. There's the start. Oh, I love it. Great, great stuff going on here. Amazing kinetic energy with the camera. Okay, so what they've done is they did this slower section, now they're really bumping up the energy. They gave us that moment of respite to breathe, and now it's just like epic action. That was really clever. That James Bond through the sniper scope shot, we love to see that. Awesome. I love this kind of like she's frustrated with her incompetent uh, lackeys spiel here, that's fun. Bob got himself some upgrades. Yeah, really good, really good, like, story building here and character building. It was like, Bob got some upgrades. You know, it's, oh, they've run into each other before. All right, Ash. Here it comes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's great. This is fun. That was great. Oh, she got captured. He taking her in. She's an outlaw. Sorry about that, Bob. <laughs> no hard feelings. McCree? I love that. Hey, <laughs> I love Bob's Say mustache. Hi to the gang for me. That's wild, man. Bob's got a cyborg mustache. I love that. You're going to rip off your other arm again. Nice, nice kind of, uh, with very few words, giving us a little backstory there. Love to see that. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of AI? Hey there, cowboy. <laughs> really cool. Welcome back, partner. He really looks like Matt Mercer. This is his partner. An AI partner? Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Oh no, wait a second. Far too long. I recognize her. Who's that character? What happened? Who's that character? <laughs> well, that's a story for another time. <laughs> but I got a call. Love that. They're getting the band back together. They want me. But really, they need you. That's so great. Getting the band back together. Big time gangster. Putting together a crew. You in? Jesse, wait. 
What are you going to do? <laughs> I've got some business to attend to. I like how he's very uh, polite the entire time. Oh, he's taking her ride. He's hey, taking I ashes. Monkey for me. Monkey. <laughs> Scientist. Whatever. That's funny. Big monkey, big DK guy, right? So he's a lone ranger. Oh, this is great. This is great. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Very cool. So, okay. Let me go back to the sort of dialogue here. Now, how do these two know each other? How does, what's his name, McCree and Ash know each other? Now you got my attention. What's, the, what's what their history it? here? What's the That's deal here? That's none of your business. Were they like on the same team at one point? The same outlaw crew? What, what's going on here? This is great. Now it's very much our business. I like how you can tell there's a rich story here Doesn't behind it. Doesn't always have to be this way, Ash. What's up, Shin? Yeah, that's a Apparently, great shot. Let's talk about does. this shot quick. There's some, there's some really strong stuff here. That's just a great shot. Again, very sort of like Wild West classic here. Um, it's just really cool. Again, it's combining that sort of feeling with modern cyborg stuff and like futuristic Apparently. weapons it's just really cool there was one shot i loved in here it might be a little further back well, as I see it. but even that one shot of him well. like this guy this guy right here it's just funny like he looks like a cowboy robot <laughs> he's got a mustache and a you know cowboy hat and so it's just fun oh they dated it oh okay very cool very cool Hint of a backstory. Ooh, I like that. Let, let me find that shot. Let me find that shot. But yeah, I love this stuff. And yeah, this is the shot I was talking about. So you have this right here. Again, she has this sort of like, uh, this is something I learned from the comment section from you guys before. Again, thank you so much for like filling in on some of the lore for me, being a newcomer to Overwatch, uh, the Overwatch world. You have this cool stuff where it's like they're not, they don't really have superpowers, the Overwatch folks, but they do have cybernetics and technology um, to make them stronger. So she has this like technological arm uh, to assist her when she's attacking people. Like right here, we have this kind of like, you know, exoskeleton on her right arm, which could tell me, oh, maybe that helps her pull the trigger with faster reaction time. You know, maybe it helps her wield this gun. Maybe it's super heavy. Um, it's got like, you know, some sort of weird futuristic LEDs on it and everything. Clearly not something from, you know, the Wild West era. It's super cool. So they're very good at kind of visual storytelling. Letting you fill in the blanks here. Cool. So we got a picture of them when they're younger. We have Ash here with much longer hair, playing cards, and it looks like a much younger him without his beard. So that's really awesome. Hinting at maybe some backstory. Uh, they knew each other. Somebody said maybe they dated. Very cool. Playing some cards. Oh, that's great. Now, it seems there's a third player here. Conspiracy, who's the third player? Very interesting. I, I love what I see. This is, one to shy away from a again, you have the shot here, which is a very classic sort of like Wild West shot. He's got the hat, he's got the beard, you got that warm sunlight, he's got the uh, the poncho for the desert, right? However, he's got a cyborg hand <laughs> because his arm was yeah. you know, taken off by Bob or whatever. Like It's just really cool. Very great design, too. I, I have to say, Overwatch has good design. Not to say, <laughs> bamf, that's funny. Uh, Really cool design. Not to say that it's simple, but like it's, it's it's not overly complicated, and I do like that about Overwatch. Now, question: What is Deadlock? What in the world is Deadlock? She's got this Deadlock mask. What does that mean? Is that uh, is that her gang's name? Is that some sort of like villain society or something? Yeah, they all have that on. Deadlock. She's got a cool design too. I really like it. Players can tell you who it is by the hand. Yeah. We need some. Uh, yeah. Been gone. We need some super uh, advanced Overwatch players to tell us who the hand belongs to on this uh, on this photograph. Scientist. Whatever. Say hi to DK for me. Hey, what's up, Valdercorn? As you guys know, I'm getting into voice acting myself. So if you guys haven't heard my voice reel. This is a lot of fun. It's actually one of my more favorite uh, Overwatch pieces. I want to see this part again where she gets... 
<laughs> so I have a question for you guys. Is Bob in the game? Is Bob playable in the game? I need to know. Does their backstory tie into Ash? And is there like some sort of falling out How between them? Have I been gone? Did Ash have her captive? There's a lot of cool questions here. But yeah, overall, it's it's very well done. I, I think, again, what I like about the Overwatch is they don't, they don't push for like crazy complicated stuff. There's a couple of really exciting moments in here once the fight starts. But there's this really, really long warm-up before they start fighting. You got these great classic, classic shots here. The clock in the diner strikes uh, high noon and we go to war. It's awesome. You love to see that. Yeah, a lot of fun references here, while also referencing their own sort of cinematic language they've laid out. So big respects. It's kind of cool though. So it seems like Bob is her. Um, Bob is kind of her big head honcho robot in her gang, but then she also has some other robots. Cool. Pretty cool stuff. That's awesome. Uh, using the boulders for cover too. But yeah, it's it's very nicely done. Like it's it's very easy to understand what's happening, and um, you can't say the same for uh, some gaming cinematics for sure. So it's it's nice. It's very refreshing. Really, really good stuff, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, Overwatch fans. Again, please uh, let me know about you know if I was right, if I was wrong. Tell me about these characters and this lore. It's it's really um, it's really engaging and it's very enticing to figure out more so let me know what i should watch next that's going to be it for that make sure to subscribe come over to twitch to chat live with the kids here in the chat and we're going to move on we're going to play some final fantasy pixel remaster so thanks for joining us youtube friends let's play some final fantasy <laughs>